Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Insomnia. Today, we've got a lot of progress that we need to make, and to start things off, we've got ourselves a smithing table, because we've got to make use of our netherite ingot, and I decided to go with making a netherite pickaxe, mainly because it's going to help us with gathering some resources that we desperately need for some of today's projects. Now, I found a couple of things that work rather well in terms of uh, venturing around in the nether, which we will be doing quite a bit of, especially when it comes to combating these hoglins. The first is kind of stationing yourself around one of the warped fungi, as the hoglins do not like the warped fungi. The other is, you know, finding a place either above or below the hoglins where you can get to them, but they cannot get to you. That being said, it uh, doesn't work as smoothly as I'd like it to, as we'll see here in just a bit. We've got to get started on the base project now, and the first thing that I'm going to be doing is laying out the groundwork for the floor. And you'll see here I've got a little bit of a cross pattern that we've started up to make sure that uh, everything gets synced up and placed down correctly, and this is about what it's looking like, you know, every other block on offset patterns there. I also wanted to make sure that I could get a, another stonesmith or another mason villager set up so I went ahead and captured one from the village next door and got him put in a minecart just like some of his friends and buddies here so hopefully we'll be able to do some good stuff with him uh, he does unfortunately have the leather worker aspect currently but as soon as I get a different workstation put down in front of him he should be able to make that transition over on his own relatively easily so uh, we'll go ahead and leave him here to make sure that he can take up a new job and uh, help us out a little bit better over here. Now, I did go ahead and fill in these other areas with diorite, which actually doesn't look terrible, uh, but I don't know that it's the floor design that I'm wanting to stick with, because ideally I'd like to have the floor of our base be all nether-themed bricks. Now, here's where we had a little bit of a scare where a hoglin did not end up knocking us down into the lava, which I did not want to have to deal with. So we went ahead and got ourselves backed into a corner here because that got us down to about four hearts, and that is a lot lower than I absolutely wanted it to be. But the hoglins apparently hate you so much that they would rather throw themselves into a pit of lava pursuing you than they would actually care to, you know, preserve their own lives. So... I guess that kind of worked out in our favor, but had I not been wearing two pieces of armor with Fire Resistance 3, there's no way that I would have walked away from that alive. We were making a brief adjustment to some of the black blocks that are here on the floor when we got accosted by a couple of phantoms. So we uh, went back inside because it's never a good idea to be outside in a thunderstorm. And we took a brief moment to upgrade two more pieces of our armor with, or to get the uh, netherite advancements on it. And I went ahead and upgraded those fire protection pieces of armor, that being our helmet and our leggings. We'll get to the chest plate a little bit later. I just didn't have enough at this point in time to get another uh, netherite item crafted up. So this is what we're looking like with the overall adjustment to the floor at this point. I do like the smooth chiseled black stone blocks as I feel like it adds a fun level of diversity to the floor and they are patterned out and dispersed through relatively well. So that will serve quite nicely as we continue to work on the floor. Now I had gone out and collected a bunch of clay to trade with our mason but there was a, an unfortunate mishap there and I couldn't exactly tell what had happened until I got in there and uh, kind of got turned around. I was just going to initially block things off, but then remembered, well, I might as well salvage that minecart and have it ready to go for the next time. And as I turned around, it turns out that an Enderman must have stolen the dirt block from off the top. So eventually I will be transitioning these villagers either to a completely different section to keep them a little safer or at least retrofitting the little areas that I have built out for them here so they are a little bit more secure with blocks that Enderman cannot pick up. Now, I did go ahead and build out some of the framework for the home that we'll be building. I really like these polished basalt blocks as uh, end blocks for 
our buildings, though I think that I miscalculated a little bit and I'm going to be moving these back a little bit further to give some further, further defined edges and corners to the build that we're going for. I also made a little bit of a miscalculation based off of the chiseled stone blocks up there. They're initially were a pretty good thought because I do like the way that they sit up there. But again, we're going for an all nether brick theme or we're transitioning over to all uh, blocks that can be found within the nether for this base build. So I did end up making the decision to not only swap out the diorite that we have mixed in with the floor, but also mixing or we'll, we'll be replacing out those stone brick blocks there as well. But the white brick that we would need or the brick that I decided that would be best for the floor is quartz. So we've got to go and collect a ton of this stuff from the nether, which isn't terribly difficult. They generally spawn in some pretty large veins and we'll just wanna make sure that we go through and swap them out accordingly. Now this is gonna require quite a bit of quartz, but you can see here, I like the contrast that we have with, between the blackstone and the quartz a little bit better, because the diorite kind of gives me the feel that the floor constantly needs to be mopped, because it just kind of gives that, that filthy, dirty looking feel. And uh, this is where we had finally collected enough ancient debris to get ourselves another netherite ingot to upgrade our chest plate. And I did, even though we had a fine chest plate there, I did want to go ahead and get one that has uh, fire protection three on it just to further offer ourselves some much needed protection when we're wandering around in the nether if we were to accidentally stumble into or get thrown into some fire or lava. So really glad that we have now three pieces of fire protection three armor that we can use and we will repurpose the other armor for different tasks specifically non-nether related. Now I played a little bit of uh, Legend of Zelda growing up Ocarina of Time and one of my favorite things was you know having the fight where you basically play a little bit of tennis with Ganondorf and his lightning and uh, we actually managed to pull that off here with the ghast as well which is uh, no small feat granted it was fairly short range but still had a lot of fun with it as well. So at this stage we've got enough quartz to go ahead and finish swapping out the bottom floor and I had made the decision to just use the standard quartz blocks. I tried it a little bit with some of the chiseled blocks but didn't really like how that felt. It honestly made the floor feel a little busy or a little too busy and I didn't really care for that all that much. So it's just uh, the smooth quartz blocks here. I may end up changing some of them again for, or any of them again, for the bottom side of some quartz stairs, or maybe just interdispersing a few of them every now and again to add some additional variety to the floor. But I'll play around with that and see how I feel, because I believe that that gives us a slightly different texture to the floor as we continue to work with it. Now, I do have this segment sped up just a little bit uh, as I talk over it because this uh, has been quite the challenge as you've uh, seen and experienced with the previous two episodes and then even today's episode as well. So I uh, do want to briefly thank you if you have been watching this series and let me know in the comments what you think or what uh, adjustments you would make to the builds or the projects that I'm currently working on here as there are quite a couple of things that I look forward to doing in this series. I think one of the next things that we will absolutely need to do is start tracking down some more of the nether uh, options, especially we need to go and find ourselves another fortress. I would also like to eventually find and raid a bastion or two because those have some pretty good rewards in it, preferably before we end up getting uh, 1.16.2 because I don't want to have to deal with the piglins uh, or the piglin brutes when those get added in as they are not friendly and not as easy to deal with. The only other thing that I really need to make sure that we track down in the nether uh, relatively soon is going to be making sure that we get ourselves some nether wart for po potions as well as making ourselves some red nether bricks because I really want to use those as the roof on this building as they are a very bright and fun colored block. That adds a really fun different dynamic to the build. 
And as we finish out in uh, transitioning the floor over here, I am quite happy with how it's currently sitting. Uh, again, the only adjustments that we will be making is pushing those frameworks or those walls out a little bit further away from the walls to make sure that we can define some more specific edges, as well as making sure that we swap out the chiseled stone bricks in the top corners here, as uh, that kind of throws off the whole nether themed build, build that we're going for. But thanks again for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to leave a like and be sure to subscribe for more daily content as I bring videos to you every single day. We'll be back with another episode of Minecraft Insomnia this next Thursday and tune in on Saturday for a very special project that will finally debunk the best method of collecting netherite and ancient debris. So thanks once more and you have yourself a fantastic rest of your day.